Welcome to the Wang Reviewer. My name is Will and I am very excited to show you this document. And this is from Google AdSense, which means uh, this is the passcode for me to enter into Google AdSense for me to start getting paid um, from YouTube. On October 26, 2020, I reached 1,000 subscribers. And that means I can start getting my channel monetized. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about my journey to get monetized by YouTube. I'm going to talk about the prerequisites that's required to be um, monetized by YouTube. I'm going to talk about the actual application process to get monetized by YouTube. And I'm going to talk about why this piece of paper is important um, for me to get finally get paid by YouTube. All right, so if you find this video helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up, like the video, and consider subscribing to my channel for similar content. In mid-October, I was really close to hitting my 1,000 subscribers mark. When I was looking at my statistics, I had 980 subs and over 12,000 watch hours, uh, which was crazy to me because I thought it would be the other way around. I thought I'd get more subs and less watch hours, uh, and instead it was totally flipped around. I was kind of fortunate where I had two or three videos that went viral that went had over 100,000 views, and that kind of helped with my watch hours. So when I reached 1,000 watch hours, YouTube actually sends me an email and on the dashboard it tells you that you're eligible to be monetized. And so you would click on it and you just go through the application process for that. And, um, and it took five business days for them to get back to me to approve it. Now I'm gonna share with you how much revenue I made on my channel after the first two months of being monetized on YouTube. But before I do that, I do wanna share some good news. I am gonna be doing a giveaway contest. I am gonna be giving away the dual wireless charger from I Am Gadget for the smartphone charging as well as uh, your watch charging. So this is a Qi wireless charger. Um, if you wanna see what this is about, I'll leave a card up here. I did a review about this about a month ago or so. Uh, for you to enter in the contest, all you have to do is like the video, um, share the video, as well as in the comment below, write why do you subscribe to a certain YouTuber? Is it the content? Um, is it the personality? Um, whatever it is, I do want to understand why people subscribe to a certain somebody or to a particular YouTuber. Um, so if you can put that in the comments, that'd be great. I'm going to take that information, gather it. I'm going to do some analytics on it as well, share with that in a future video. So what I'm going to do is after all those comments are done, I'm going to enter them into an Excel spreadsheet and do a random generator and choose a winner. Um, so you have until January 10th, 2021 to enter into the contest. And on January 11th, which is a Monday, I will announce the winner. And then I will be uh, shipping this out to someone. All right, so please uh, enter below and write the comment and uh, good luck to you. So here are some analytics um, of my channel to show you how I got monetized. In April of this year, 2020, I reached 100 subs by posting a video on how to create a custom YouTube link for your channel. And this is only available after you receive 100 subs. If I look at my analytics, it took seven months to gain the additional 900 subs to reach 1,000. And so over seven months, it averages to about five subs a day, which, is, which isn't a lot. Uh, in terms of views, uh, I needed to reach 4,000 watch hours within the year. At the start of the year, I was averaging about one hour a day of watch time. And as I created more videos and some of them gained traction, my watch hours went up. So starting in May, my average went to 100 hours per day. I also get a breakdown of the best performing watch hours in terms of uh, which video it is. My custom PC fan setup has over 5,000 watch hours. And in nine months, this video got me past the 4,000 watch hours requirement alone. So that shows if you create one video that really takes off, that people are really engaged in, uh, you can meet that 4,000 watch hours easily. This also helps with determining what kind of videos you should focus on for future videos. So for me, the tutorial uh, videos seem to do best versus my review uh, uh, videos. So that's something I'm gonna have to consider me possibly switching up in 2021. So the question is, how much money did I make after two months of being monetized on YouTube? As of December 28, 2020, it's estimated I made $818.16. The total estimated revenue or net revenue from all Google sold ads and transactions for the selected date range and region. Estimated revenue are subject to month ad adjustments and do not include partner sold or partner served advertising or transactions. Uh, honestly, I'm still trying to figure out how the breakout of the revenue uh, means and how that actually impacts my channel. Uh, that's something I'm going to look into it um, starting in 2021. 
So I got monetized on October 26, and based on the time it was approved, I made 60 cents on my first day. Uh, again, it's just based on um, the approval was probably late in the day, so the views during that day didn't really count. Starting at the beginning of November, I averaged about $8 a day. I then produced two videos on the PS5 scalping and iPhone Pro Max display issues, and my total quickly increased to over $10 a day. Uh, well, what's interesting here is my biggest uh, payday, which was $25 per day, actually happened on Christmas Day. So I guess instead of spending time with their families, people are, are spending Christmas uh, watching YouTube, which I guess it kind of worked out for me. Uh, I'm going to review the RPM, which is the revenue per mil or per 1,000 views. It says to calculate your RPM, your estimated revenues divided by your total views in the same time period. I did the math to see how much I was earning per view. My stats, I'm making $2.09 per 1,000 views. That is two-tenths of a penny. This means that every five views, I earn one cent. Using my stats and rounding up to 392,000 views, I multiply that by my RPM of $2.09. It's pretty accurate to my revenue stream. So another thing to note about the analytics page, it does give you a breakdown of your revenue per month. You can see that December was a great month for me, being my second month. And the analytics page also displays your top earning videos as well. Again, this is very helpful data to help me understand what people are watching and what kind of videos I should be making in the future. All right, so that kind of wraps up this video on how much I made uh, on YouTube. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. So again, um, thank you guys for watching. Remember to enter in the contest to be eligible. You have to like the video, share the video, and also comment below on what makes you subscribe to a certain YouTuber. All right, so thanks again for watching. And until next time.